Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can link your games to show up on Aurora. All you have to do is press start, go down to content, go to add uh, under manage paths. You can do auto scan, um, well that's after you set up the uh, the directory. Auto scan will once you like start up the Xbox, it'll automatically scan all your games and stuff instead of doing it manually. And same for title updates, you can auto scan, but that you don't have to add uh, path. But anyways, so if you want to add a game, uh, as you can see, I'm under 360 and I have no games. It's like where are my games? All right, press start. Remember, FTP the games over or external. I'm going to show you. Uh, adding the pads in this tutorial. So go to add. All right, now this, you have to go to change, select location. I'm gonna do hard drive first. I'm gonna go down to games and pr hold up, let me see. Yeah, <laughs> go down to games, press Y. All right, now it should be two depths. All right, so you got one, two, and then the uh, default XEX is what uh, launches the game, all right? So it's two, so press Y on that and then change this to two if it's not already. Now I don't have a custom script here, so I'm just gonna go to save and it'll automatically scan since I have that on and uh, it should bring these up. It's going to take a bit because it has to download all the box art. Just wait for everything to scan here. I don't have many games on the internal right now. I need to move these to my external, but anyways, <laughs> I digress. All right, press start. Now, that's my internal. Now, if I want my external games, which I do, go to Add, go to Change, go to USB 0, go to Games, and press Y. Now, it should be it should be 2 again, because that's how I set up everything. And go to Save. If it's if it's 3 or 4, you, you know, you, you can change this up to 9. I don't know what Infinite does, but I'm going to put that on 2 and hit Save. Now you can hit scan now if you don't have this on and don't want to reboot the Xbox and all that. Just turn this on and scan now. Alright, now go back and you'll see my external games are showing up. Now I only did this to uh, Xbox 360, but you can do this to Xbox Live Arcade. You can do this to emulators, homebrew, apps, and you know, whatever you want. And uh, that should help you get these uh, games all scanned. Now, like I said, this works for full 360 games, Xbox Live Arcade, uh, uh, indie games, I don't have those. Um, original Xbox games, um, and all those should show up. And emulators, of course, and all those. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, if you want box art, maybe I'll make a tutorial on that, but for now, I hope this video helped you how to scan for your your games. If, a, if you try to launch a game and it says it fails, then you want to either restart your Xbox or you need to look into what is causing the issue. And the easiest way to do that would be press Y on a game, uh, go to... I gotta find it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. Go to the third one here and go to File Manager, and it'll go right to the game's directory. And then look for the default XEX and see if it's there. If if it doesn't go to the game, or something happens, just look around. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully this tutorial helps, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.